Scorpio, welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Reading. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, before we go into your reading, just a few things up front that are very, very important this month. Firstly, we are in the month of November, the 11th month. Now, 11 is a master number. Same double digit numbers are master numbers. In numerology, uh, only 11 and 22 are master numbers because only they would fit into a calendar. The point is when you have a high energy number, like 11, which is then the number that is obviously given to November, um, it, the 11 affords us a higher energy. So this will be a month um, for all star signs um, to understand that things are more immediate. Right, so if there are issues or are things that you felt they don't quite shift, if you put a bit of emphasis behind it, they will likely shift much faster simply because it's November. Right? It's also interesting because statistically speaking, November is suicide month. And what that means is that sometimes because you have more of a of an awareness, a realization in November, that may trigger people um with mental health issues that are possibly prone to self-harm, to look into these options as well. So the point I'm making is I'm not an expert on, on mental health, even though I do have mental health issues. It's just be aware that, you know, because the energy is high and the energy is more immediate, if you're prone to, uh, if you are a person that is prone to seeing things from a more negative point of view, that would also and will also be stronger this month. So please, please, please reach out. Um, right. And from a selfish point of view, I can't afford losing viewers. So come on, don't do anything stupid. Here we go. <laughs> so, and then secondly, um, I urge you to look into the November 2022 full moon reading on this very channel because there is a bit of a ditch, a bit of a dip, a bit of a downer. Um, that will just happen for, for a few days, um, not too long, but has to do with um, with the lunar eclipse that the full moon has on the 9th when it comes in, or 10th, I can't remember. But the point is, please watch that video just to be aware of what's happening when. Okay, and now we're looking at the, um, we're dividing the reading in, in sort of three areas. We will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at your emotional core, see what comes in um, or what can go. And then lastly, we look at opportunities. And opportunities, for the most part, will be about what it is that sustains you financially, if that makes sense. Now, the difficulty that I'm having with this is that money is not a spiritual currency. So oftentimes the guides will not highlight what brings more income, rather than they will highlight um, what makes more sense to your soul, if that makes sense. But, but we're not there yet. Let's have a look at the overall energy first for the month of November 2022 for the sign of Scorpio. Now remember, Scorpions, in build, you have a massive fight or flight response to a lot of things, which means that sometimes focusing can be very difficult for Scorpions especially if there is a lot of stuff going on. So again, looking into um, how, how many other things you have to deal with that aren't really mine is important. So let's have a look what we got. So uh, the overall energy here, quite, quite simple in a way, but also quite powerful, you have the wolf. And the wolf is obviously, shamanically speaking, the animal that makes sense but the wolf is really saying to you um that run your pack even if it's a pack of one but run it right be in charge you because the wolf is a very um social canine right um so he will make sure that the that the pack as such works very well right and the canine is uh, so the wolf is also um literally the only canine that when the shit hits the fan and things get difficult he will look for berries. So the point is, um, there's versatility in in the wolf, and therefore there's versatility 
in your overall energy. So what you're being asked is to pay attention to what you can do rather than what you cannot do. Point is that, well, I would love to do this, but I. The moment you say, but I cannot, oh, I need this, you're, you're looking for something else to happen to make things happen. Manifestation doesn't work that way. Right? You want a new house, say to the universe, thanks for the new house, and if you need me to work harder, I will, and then you get there, if that makes sense. You know, making things about, about other things that need to come first in order to make your dreams come true are difficult to manifest, if that makes sense, right? Um, I should probably do a whole video um, at some stage about manifestation um, because apparently that would probably help, right? So what the wolf is saying to you with your overall energy, make sure when it comes to the month of November to take full advantage of the extra energy, the extra high energy that November literally is being given by the number 11 and um, be in charge. Right? Make sure that you're looking at yourself first and then it trickles down to your so-called unit. Okay? Now we're looking at your emotional core. Let's see what's happening there for you, Scorpios. And you have the tiger. Now, the tiger has unique stripes and has an awful lot of stamina. I always say that if the tiger lived where the lion lives, the lion probably would not be the king of the jungle. <laughs> And while this is a very simple uh, uh, um, thing to say, um, the point is what the tiger really stands for when it comes to your emotions is to understand two things. Number one, because you have an awful lot of stamina, you may therefore also, which is very scorpion, um, harness bad stuff that happened to you and keep it bottled up inside you. Right? And if you ever come across a tiger, that's probably the last thing you will ever do. The point is that when the tiger comes to situations where his ferociousness is needed, he will be ferocious. So nobody's asking you to be ferocious, but the point is what needs to be avoided with regards to your emotions is that you have a, a massively negative outpouring. Right? So don't just wait wait until you really blow the lid because then everybody around you is in real danger. <laughs> the point is with your emotions is to understand that you have options. right, And that it is your uniqueness that makes you you. Therefore you will find that a lot of people when they give you advice, they advise from their point of view. And therefore, just because you're not them, they're not you, it might never quite work for you. So trust yourself, right? Go within. Um, and it's important because my, my feeling, you know, when Tiger shows up, especially when it comes to emotions, there is stuff that you have been carrying around with you for a long time. And you have to ask yourself the question, how much sense does that make? Would I advise my best friend to carry that much crap around, right? So... Detach yourself, really, really important, okay? So, lastly, we will look at your opportunities for the month of November 2022. This is your general reading, so I know this will not resonate with all of you. Um, I hope it does. And with regards to opportunities, now that is very, very interesting. You have the, the cow. And the cow is about being the Uber mother, right? It's not pronounced Uber, it's Uber, right? Okay, the point is when it comes to opportunities, look at things that come to you from a very pure point of view. You, you, you must understand that, especially in November, if there are any changes with regards to what sustains you, make them about yourself. Where can I be 100% myself? And it almost feels like, you know, where can I be myself and get away with it? <laughs> so if you're already working in an environment where your uniqueness is not um, supported, then it's not for you, clearly. Right? So the point is with the cow is 
because she is the Übermother and she is and she has been and is revered in many parts of the world. It's about understanding that you're bloody awesome. And when it comes to opportunities, people hiring you, if you're self-employed, you're showing yourself. You need to always understand that is how you present yourself that will that is how you will attract people. And if you are 150% you, obviously you can therefore attract people that, that relate to you and not your products and not your sales pitch and not whatever it is you do for a living. Really, really important to understand when it comes to opportunities from here on out is to always thrive and look for things where you can be your unique self. That's all we have time for. Please like, subscribe and share. And I see you all hopefully next month. Bye-bye.